All right, so here we go, TJ. We're going to do a chat Jippity Alexa. Are you ready for this? Okay, I'm ready. All right, dummy for Docker RS. Interesting. So let's just okay. look at main. We're just going to look at main, okay? Uh, let's move I like how me and T Pope have about the same transparency right now. Yep, you and T Pope <laughs> are, you're just, you really believe in transparency, which is amazing. Yeah. All right, mm -hmm. uh, I don't know how to handle errors and rust. Awesome. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> step one, already good. Yep, step two. <laughs> I guess we should use anyhow or something. <laughs> Damn, this oh, is great. Oh, nice. This is great. Put your API key in here. Uh, still has no idea how to do this. Uh, nice. I wonder why my strings turned blue right here. I don't know. I've had nothing but blue Rust strings. Rust is disapproving. Rust <laughs> is really... I don't approve of this. Really hates this. Cannot read the freaking file. Nice. Uh, put your code in here. Jippity Lexer. Okay, so let's jump over to the Jippity Lexer. Right. That was that was what we just read. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, thing, hold right? on. What's that? All right. So, impl. Whoa. Look at that. Really, really went all in on this for not knowing nice. uh, for not knowing Rust. You know, you're using some good generics here. Yeah, that's a dependency. All right. Yeah, what? like he didn't write this code. Oh, he this didn't write this code. Oh, you're yeah. right. Yeah, 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 yeah. This <laughs> yeah. makes perfect sense. Now that now that you say it out loud. Uh. Okay. So, there was like a test. I swear there was like a test. When I looked at it last, that was really cool. Oh, he well, must make. I, with... I think I think yeah. he's made this, and at one point there was actually something that did this because this must be all new. Yeah. Dang it! There was something I like really the cool. Idea though, just ask Chat Jippity to be your compiler. Yeah, Easy. Yeah. The it's book's so, done. Dang it! He had this really okay. So last time I looked at this, there's this really cool code that all it all it did was take in the code and then ask it to tokenize it with these parameters, and it just did it. That's what it's doing right now. That's, yeah, no, but I don't, I don't see it nearly as much. Oh, here it is. Send a message. Can you convert the following list of tokens based on the following tokens? There you go. Ident, illegal, string, int, end of file, plus. Look at that. And then it just does it. Yeah. Plus code. Format but your this response is, the, such as is this the parser array. or is this the tokenizer? This, this is, is the, the tokenizer, this right? This is the tokenizer. This is pretty okay. clever. It's a good idea. Can you believe that? And look at that. It even tells it how to end it. End it with a singular end of file token. Yeah, this makes sense. This, 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 uh, I would expect LLMs to be really good at this. Yeah, I guess this would be a good LLM problem, right? Do you think it has this an inaccuracy every now and then? Yeah. It's calculator for words right now. Like this is what you would want to use it for. Is to just put in some words and then get out something new. Like it's calculator for words. Calculator for words. I like that. Yeah. I like calculator for words. It's a good time. Yeah, I mean, who needs to write a parser when you can spend 10 million times more time waiting for the LLM to parse it? <laughs> if I hey, had I, the guys, API key, does I anyone... really like prettier because it makes it so that I can like sit and wait in between formatting my files. So I'm kind of thinking, what if the parsing was chat GPT? <laughs> I like that experience. Do you have an API yeah. key that I can paste in here live on stream and ruin your API access? <laughs> I would never, ever trust you with my own API keys. <laughs> Come on, man! It's, this would be a great right, time. First time on stream. What is... <laughs> All right, hey, I give that uh, lots of style points here for the the uh, six for the exit codes. Very well done. Um, I love that you copy and pasted some of the error problems. You know that you should be using uh, anyhow. Well done. This is a good file. Good job, you. Whoever you yeah. are. Can we? I guess we We're can only blame. a few years away from maybe training a model, though, that you could do this from like easily. But it doesn't seem like that useful for thought, a, a tokenizer. I thought it was called get blame. What is it called? G what? Maybe it's lowercase. I, I no, know. I, well, they used to have blame on here. Is it browse? Whoopsies. I just deleted something. Oh, crap. Oh, <laughs> crap. Crap. Help. Help. Undo that. Undo that change. Copilot can't fix NeoVim. Am I right, chat? <laughs> No one can fix me of him. Crap, I'm way off. I'm way out of here now. <laughs> You're out of no man's land. Yeah, I know. I, I'm in a dependency. Uh, I swear there was a way to do this. Was it not get blame? Did they change Colon it? Colon get space blame. Just do it like. Uh, okay, yeah. There you go. So there you go. Hey, thank you. Unconv. Unconventional. Appreciate that. Very unconventional. Mm -hmm. All right. Awesome. Neo, 